Good health is a gift to be treated with gratitude, and we can acknowledge this by honoring people who know what it means to face life-threatening illnesses. The annual Cintron Pink Polo event salutes breast cancer survivors and fighters, and Mela was very happy to share in the fun, fashion, and fundraising of the day. Polo in its modern form was first played in Manipur in India in the mid-19th century. And along with horse racing, it's been called the sport of kings with a similar glamour factor. It's also a great way to get together, celebrate and show off your wardrobe while also raising awareness of important issues as Val Devee's Rick Niedling explained. Everybody really has been affected by breast cancer and by cancer. That was really the key driver why we got involved with Pink Polo. This is now nine years ago. Every year, more and more survivors come here to come and enjoy it. And just for a day to forget a little bit about the battle that they have and to really to celebrate them. The Childhood Cancer Foundation was selected for support. We've actually incorporated chalk from a children's perspective. Kids with cancer, we've really decided to just make the giving bigger. And really the heart of this event is to be a vocal platform and to reach as many people as we can because they say prevention is better than cure. It's a worthy cause that has enjoyed the sustained support of an international premium beverage brand. Cintron Pink Polo as the event has many initiatives that it supports across the community and in hospitals. We also as a company directly support Pink Drive. They're a great local organization that has mobile testing units that go out into the communities and raises awareness as well as offering screening and testing services. So obviously that's a very important message of this event, Raising Breast Cancer Awareness. The program got underway with celebrity MCs Roline Strauss and Katleko Mabu, encouraging everyone to let their hair down and think pink. Today we are celebrating life, miracles and courage. We've got awesome polo today, great entertainment, and it's all for a good cause. I am so passionate about women's health and that is why being part of today's Pink Polo is such a privilege for me because I know that it's not just polo, but it's polo with a purpose. So it's wonderful to know that events like these talk about breast cancer, about being real and that these breast cancer survivors know that we're here to support them. What I look forward to is the great social environment, the fact that this is one of the highlights on Cape Town's social calendar. Uh, people really go to drastic and great lengths to look fantastic on the day. What I enjoy most about the polo is the fact that it's a cosmopolitan of personalities and characters when it comes to fashion, when it comes to interests. Well, this is my fourth year in the division and these type of events actually show me that there is people that care because believe me when you go through that experience you just want to be alone all the time and to you it's like no one cares because no one knows what you're actually going through. But at such events, you actually realize there are people that really care. Before settling down to the fun of the polo, there was some serious business to attend to, like serving the latest summer styles presented by top local designers. The palette selected for this year's event featured emerald green and gold, complemented by the signature pink. Stylistas in attendance also had an opportunity to show off the outfits they were rocking for the day, ready for assessment by the serious followers of fashion. There's quite a few outfits today. I think at the Pink Polo, a lot of people make extra effort to look amazing because it is polo with a purpose and fashion is a key element here today. So there's lots of people that I think did an amazing job with the outfits. I believe looking your best is important because it's an extension of who you are. Therefore, people need to see you also in your clothing, how you express yourself and how you look and how you present yourself. And for me, when I'm dressed good, I feel good. So it's amazing. The origins of polo can be traced back to ancient Persia and originally it was considered to be a form of cavalry training. While it remains a test of horsemanship, hand-eye coordination and courage, today it's all about the thrill of the experience. A polo match consists of six seven-minute time periods called chakas, with the riders remaining in the saddle for the entire game while each pony plays a maximum of two non-consecutive chakas per match. Its pace and intensity can impress even experienced sports aces. As a sports person, I've never really been to a real polo match, so 
So experiencing this for the first time, it's been amazing. It may seem quaint, but it's actually very practical for the spectators to walk the pitch between matches, treading in the divots. The players return to the field on fresh mounts and the 4 on 4 contests resume. While the matches may seem hectic, the rules aim to safeguard the players and the ponies, and the umpires keep a close eye on proceedings. After a hard day's play, the winners could hoist their trophy with pride and then join the spectators as the party got underway. What a fantastic game they played. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen, your champions for 2019. No matter which team won or lost, this was a day with many heroes, from the players on the field to the cancer survivors attending the event, and truly a celebration of polo with a purpose.